Now time for the Rebirth Sports Full Game Recap. We all the way back to May, the 27th of the year, 2023. The Milwaukee Admirals were in Coachella Valley taking the Firebirds in Game 2 of the Best of 7 Western Conference Final. We are only 21 seconds into the second ever meeting between these two clubs. And it's Yaroslav Skarov coming up with a save on Schulte in close. At 101 of the first period, it's true. Pick up his fifth goal of the playoffs, giving Coachella Valley a 1-0 lead. And it was Skarov trying to... To play the puck off of the wall with his stick in the crease area. Complete misplay, mishandle leads to another awful goal as he loses the puck into his skate area and then kicks it into the net. True was there jamming away as well. And it's just another awful goal against for the starting netminder of the Milwaukee Admirals. Admirals not starting off very good. Down one nothing, just a minute one into the first period. 157 into the first period. Scarf comes up with a blocker save on Froden. At 207 of the first, Scarf comes up with a save on Rafferty. Shots on goal at just the 157 mark of the first period. 5 nothing in favor of the Firebirds. At 349 of the first period, Pagansky's off the box. Two minutes for interference. Set the pick play in the offensive zone. Got called for it. And that's going to give the Milwaukee Admirals their first opportunity to get into this game. That's where Sanford picks up his third goal of of the playoffs. It was Tomasino with the setup and Sanford with the finish from the low sharp angle tying the game at one apiece between Milwaukee and Coachella Valley. 636 to the first period. Evans off the box. Two minutes for interference putting the Admirals on the power play. Decord would come up with a save on Sanford. Then Decord would come with another save on Tomasino at 853 at the first period. Decord would come with a save on Rushef at close range at 1047. Askarov would come up with a save on Petman at 1135. Stasny off the box. Two minutes for high sticking and the special teams Parade continues here in the first period. Skarov comes with a save on Lynn, then another save on Schultz, then another save on Polaroski. Skarov incredibly busy during this penalty kill that the Admirals were able to successfully complete. But at 15-24, Luke Evangelista is off to the box. Two minutes for holding. Skarov immediately back to work. Save on Polaroski, another save on Polaroski, and then a save on Rafferty, his best save of the series without a doubt. Incredible reaction time, getting all the way to the back post and kicking out every every part of the body to get over to there. We hit the end of the first period. We're tied to one apiece, but Coachella Valley is out shooting Milwaukee. 15, 15 shots on goal in the first period to seven for Milwaukee. 145 into the second period on the clean sheet, and it's Froden having his second goal of the playoffs, giving Coachella Valley a 2-1 to lead. It was a sharp angle shot that goes off of Del Geiser then over the shoulder of a scar off and into the back of the net. Just a tough bounce here for the Milwaukee Admirals. 252 of the second period. Sanford off to the box. Two minutes for slashing. Now this happened in the offensive zone and clearly is just an awful, awful penalty to take. No reason for it. Scarf comes up with a save on Karche. And then uh, overall, the penalty kill it's decent uh, the aggressive pressure by the penalty killing unit seemed to stymie what was going on out there for the power play unit for the Firebirds but at 635 of the second period it's Petman's fourth goal of the playoffs it's a wrist shot off of the rush another long shot no traffic and it seemed like a scar off had plenty of time to see this one coming and he gives up another soft goal here in the Calder Cup playoffs three to one now in favor of Coachella Valley 6.52 of the second period. Decord comes up with a save on Sherwood off of the rush at 8.10 of the second. Decord comes up with a save on Ratcliffe off of the rush. The only place the Admiral seem to be generating the offense is off of the rush. No sustained pressure to this point in the game. At 8.53 of the second period, Ratcliffe's off to the box. Two minutes for holding in the offensive zone. Another terrible penalty here by the Milwaukee Admirals. Askarov has to come up with a save on Podoroski. And overall, again, a decent penalty kill, but they never should have been on this penalty kill. At 11.22 of the second period, Scarf comes with a save on Rafferty. 12.35, Evans off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. Decord would come with a save on Sherwood, and the rebound would not be able to be put back by the Admirals. Decord would come with another save on Kemmel. Milwaukee would continue the pressure well after the power play. Their best zone time of the game, their most sustained pressure of the game up until this point. This was truly a bend-not-break moment for the Coachella Valley Firebirds. 18-25 of the second period. 
It's Decord coming up with a save on Ratcliffe. And then we flip over to the back of the sheet to find it 1905 of the second period. McCarron's off to the box. Two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct. He shot the puck at one of the Firebirds players after the whistle had blown on a delayed offsides. And I typically do not try to be overly critical because mistakes can happen. But this was stupid. That is the proper critique of this penalty. McCarron is a veteran player, and this is a stupid, stupid penalty to take at any point in time in a regular season game, especially in the conference finals when you're already struggling against the Firebirds. Not much happening in the remaining moments of the second period on this power play for Coachella. So we hit the shots on goal for the end of the second period. It's Coachella Valley with 26, Milwaukee with 17. That means a carryover of 105 into the third period on the power play. Skarov would have to come up with a save on Lynn, but again, the PK would be there for the Admirals when needed. 318 in the third period. Decord comes up with a save on Rushev at 353 of the third period. Angelo's first goal of the playoffs was set up by Philip Tomasino, and the finish came from the low slot Angelo, who had been, well, let's face it, only visible when it comes to counting minor penalties throughout the playoffs. His first goal goes a long way to getting the Admirals back in this game. 3-2 to two in favor of Coachella Valley now at 3.53 into the third period. 5.57 into the third period. Decord comes up with a save on Sanford and the Admirals seem to be finding a new gear, finding a new level. Less timid, more assertive with the puck. Every time they get the puck, they're turning it back around and heading immediately into the offensive zone. This is the first time we've seen this from the Admirals against the Firebirds. We've certainly seen it plenty of times in the past. This is one of the first times the Admirals seem to look like their normal selves. 7.33 of the third period. Scarf will come up with a save on Lynn. 9.32 of Scarf will come up with a save on Karche through traffic. At 11.06 of Scarf will come up with a save on Lynn. Time for the Admirals to counter punch. 11.59 it would be Decord coming up with a save on Tomasino at 12.27. Decord comes up with a save on McCarron at 13.43. Decord another save on Willsby through traffic at 17.41. Willsby sends a skipping shot towards the net from out high, and it looks like it's going to beat Decord, but Decord finds a way to keep that puck in from going into the net. He fights that one off. We lead to the empty net scenario just one second later, and it would take virtually no time at all for Coachella Valley to get the puck by way of physical contact confrontation at the blue line 1754 it's McCormick's 11th of the playoffs an empty net breakaway goal after he just knocked Del Geizo clear off the puck good clean physical battle right there he takes the puck he puts it in the net four to two in favor of Coachella Valley in 1927 Kronsky comes up with his fourth goal of the playoffs another empty net goal for Coachella Valley making it five to two but in 1946 Igor Afanasyev his third goal of the playoffs, he just walked through the D after they had completely stopped playing at the end of the game, and he did the good job. He had the puck. He took it through the neutral zone, knife through the defense, goes right to the net, tucks the puck into the back of the net, giving Milwaukee their third goal of the game and making the final score 5-3. to three. Now, Coachella Valley absolutely destroyed the Admirals and shots on goal 37 to 27. That is a wide, wide margin. The Admirals had been mostly out shooting teams so far in the playoffs, but certainly not in this game. This was not a very good night for the Milwaukee Admirals, giving up five against again, and they are now finished when it comes to playing in Coachella Valley in the first two games of this series, and if they don't turn things around very quickly, they won't be making a return trip to the West Coast for Game 6 in game seven that is for certain what else is for certain is that was the reverse sports full game recap that was a lot to talk about a lot happening in that game but we've got so much more to talk about here on the renegades of puck podcast we've got analysis coming up we've got box score and we've got so much more right here on renegades of puck operation number 766 back right after these messages Hello, 